Geppetto, a poor woodcarver, was making a puppet. You shall be my little boy, and I shall call you Pinocchio, he said to the puppet. Geppetto worked for many hours, carving every detail carefully. When Pinocchio's nose has been carved, it began to grow longer after he was done. He taught Pinocchio how to walk. As soon as Pinocchio learned how to walk, he ran out of the door and away into the town. As he wandered in town all by himself, he was caught by the town police. The police sent Geppetto into the prison as he did not take care of his child properly. Pinocchio headed back to Geppetto's house and met a talking cricket. The talking cricket, which had lived in the house for a very long time, told Pinocchio that boys who did not obey their parents would be punished. The mischievous Pinocchio did not feel sorry for what had happened to Geppetto. He ignored the cricket's advice and left the house to find food. As Pinocchio wandered the streets in search of food, he encountered many hardships. He was tricked by sly characters, got into trouble, and faced dangerous situations. Without Geppetto's guidance and love, Pinocchio felt lost and alone. One night, cold and hungry, Pinocchio remembered the cricket's words and Geppetto's kindness. He realized how selfish and disobedient he had been. Filled with remorse, Pinocchio decided to return home and make things right. He went to the prison and confessed everything to the authorities. Seeing Pinocchio's honesty and regret, they released Geppetto. The reunited pair hugged tightly, with Pinocchio promising to be a good son. From that day on, Pinocchio worked hard to help Geppetto. He went to school, studied diligently, and always told the truth. His nose, which had grown with each lie, began to shrink back to normal. As Pinocchio grew wiser and more compassionate, something magical happened. One morning, he woke up as a real boy. Geppetto's love and Pinocchio's genuine change of heart had broken the spell. Pinocchio learned that honesty, obedience, and kindness were far more valuable than mischief and selfishness. He and Geppetto lived happily ever after, with Pinocchio growing into a fine young man who always remembered the importance of making good choices. The moral of the story is honesty, obedience, and kindness are the true paths to happiness and growth. Our actions have consequences, but with genuine remorse and a willingness to change, we can overcome our mistakes and become better versions of ourselves.